Hello everybody, we are back with another visual pattern challenge. So here we've got um, three cupboards and there are uh, more and more glasses in every cupboard and you have to imagine a house with at least 43 cupboards and the numbers of glasses keep going up in whatever pattern this is. So your challenge, first of all, is to figure out how many glasses there are in cupboard number four. And then if you can, how many would be in cupboard number 43? And if along the way you can come up with an equation that you could use to figure out the number of glasses in any cupboard at all. So that's the challenge. If you'd like to accept it, pause the video, work it out, and see how you do. All right, so we've got these uh, glasses sort of stacked um, in these rows. Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to do to to try to sort out this this pattern visually is just sort of find this in this next pattern. So isolate that. So that's this is the previous step right there. And then let's find this in that pattern. So two on the top, three on the bottom. So that would be this much. So what's not um, uh, circled here is what's added. So it looks like in this step I added four. Ah, and in this step I also added four. Okay, so it looks like we're adding two to the top and two to the bottom row every time. So if I wanted to figure out cupboard four, I would add two more glasses here and two more glasses here. And I'd have, let's see, two, four, six on the top, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it looks like in step four, in cupboard four, I'd have 13 glasses. So figuring out how many in cupboard 43 is a little tougher. And I think to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and analyze the numbers that we've got so far. So I'm gonna put the step number in a chart and also the number of glasses. Okay, so in cupboard number one, we have one glass. In cupboard number two, we've got five glasses. In cupboard number three, that's four and five, so that's nine. And in cupboard number four, we're predicting 13. Once I've got the numbers sort of laid out like this in a chart, I can find the difference in each step. So five minus one, four. Nine minus five, four. 13 minus nine, four. So we can see here, yes, indeed, we go up by four in every step. So that's what's going on here in this pattern. We're adding four. When the, the change, the difference from step to step is constant, we know that this is a linear pattern and we can use the equation for a line to model that. So we'll do that. The, the M here, which stands for the slope in a typical line, um, here we're gonna use the rate of change of this pattern, how much increases by every step. So this becomes Y equals four X. And then this plus B, that's a number, a constant we can use to adjust this so that it actually works out for what we have step by step. X is gonna be your step number and Y is gonna tell you how many glasses. So to figure out what that B is, I'm just gonna try to apply this equation so far, what we have so far, to step number one. So this would be Y equals four times and the step number in place of X. Four times one is four. So this would give us four here, but we've only got one. We've got three too many glasses, so I'm gonna fix that by subtracting three. So four times one minus three would equal one. That's how many glasses we've got here. Now, I'm gonna put that also in our equation, and then we're gonna test this. We're, to be double sure this is really the right equation, let's try it with step two. So y equals four times two minus three. Four times two is eight, minus three is five. Ah, that's how many glasses we have. Let's try one more y equals four times step three minus three, and three times four is 12, minus three is nine. That's how many glasses in cupboard three. Looks like we've got our equation correct. So y equals four x minus three. Now we can use that to figure out how many glasses there are in that cupboard number 43. So y equals four times cupboard 43 minus three. And let's see, four times 43, well, four times 40 is 160, and four times three is 12, so that's 172. And then we subtract three, and we would get 169 glasses in cupboard 43. I guess that's a pretty big cupboard when we get to cupboard 43. Well, how did that go for you? Did you figure out 13 in cupboard four? Did you figure out 169 in cupboard 43? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.